multi-platinum artist Rick Astley, best known for his mega hit. How's it go, Dana? Never. We're going to give you up. up. How's it go, Klaus? Never going to let you down. <laughs> Come on, Klaus. Come sing on, with Klaus. Me. I heard it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sit never here gonna till Klaus. I'm gonna sit here till Klaus says never gonna give you Come up. Come on, Klaus. Klaus, I'm gonna sit here till you say you never gonna time, give you up. You don't have time, Klaus. I got a piece coming up later. Come on. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> no one knows who I am, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. He just opened a new holiday live show. We're gonna get a picture of Klaus before this is over, so you can see he doesn't play nicely with others. <laughs> We're gonna take you on this live show with his take on some of his favorite swing music standards. Anthony Mason met Astley after the show in London. Does Anthony sing? The tour of famous spots like Somerset House, and he even joined in on some caroling. Anthony, good morning and welcome. You know the song, Anthony. I sure do. Good morning, Gail. <laughs> Last summer, we tagged along with Rick Astley for a leg of his tour across America, and he told us he always warmed up for shows by singing Frank Sinatra songs. Well, we said we'd love to see a show like that. So when we got an invite to Rick Astley's Swinging Christmas, well, we got to go. In London, a city rich in Christmas traditions, Rick Astley has his own. All we, need is love this Christmas. we have a thing about decorating the tree, and we always play Motown when we do it. I don't know why, it started one year, so now it doesn't feel right if there is a Motown player. Wake up just before daylight. And this year, Astley may have started another holiday tradition. This is an amazing arena to walk out into. It is. It's kind of, it's very, very iconic, obviously. Um, all the greats have played here, obviously Sinatra. The 56-year-old singer just filled Royal Albert Hall for two nights to perform Rick Astley's Swinging Christmas with his band and a 35-piece orchestra. Fireside is blazing bright. Earlier this year, he was singing a very different song. Obviously, when we saw you guys in America last, we were on the mixtape tour, yeah. which I absolutely loved, and I had a ball doing it, and yeah. it was a lot of fun. For three months, he traveled across the U.S. with New Kids on the Block, salt and Pepper, and En Vogue. I actually just re-watched some of the footage from it recently, and Lena, my wife, and I and kind of made us feel a bit homesick for America, if that's allowed, I don't know, but... Um, <laughs> Um, I'm glad you miss us. Yeah, yeah, no, we do, we do. We had a great time. And then we said, look, at Christmas, why don't we just do something completely and utterly different? And so Astley asked his promoter to look for a little London theatre. And he says, great, I'll get you the Albert Hall. <laughs> In the iconic arena, he paid homage to some of his favourite singers. Like Frank Sinatra, who also sang on this very stage. You. I went and did a little video of myself with Frank in the background. <laughs> well, I'm just hanging out with Frank at the Albert Hall. See you later. Why did you do the video with Frank? Um, I think because it's kind of like, I still have a huge, not um, imposter syndrome exactly, but I definitely have a thing about how did I get here. Yeah. Listen, I've had a career, I've done all right, I've had some hits, but he is like, he's like an Elvis. When I fall in love. All I'm saying is I'm never gonna beat Nat King Cole singing when I fall in love. It will be forever. But you're gonna sing it anyway. Of course I am, because I really love singing it. And yeah. because my dad sang it, my mum used to play it on the piano, you know, yeah. it, it's sort of been there all my life, really. Yeah. And then I ended up recording it kind of thing when I was 20 or 21. When I give my heart, it will be completely. It was 1987, and Astley had just moved south to London from Lancashire. I'd only been to London literally twice, I think, before. Once with my mum to see the sights. So how did London seem to you when you first got here? Massive. Astley himself would soon be massive, a pop star 
who has always loved the standards. After COVID, yeah. it's taught me to say yes to certain things a bit more readily. Yeah. It's just a lot of fun to do things that are outside your comfort zone, for one thing, because yeah. it, it stirs you up again. You seem to get a little emotional at the end. I did, yeah. I've been doing this thing when we sing Some Enchanted Evening, yeah. where I grip hold of my thumb as tightly as I can before it starts. Why? because I know I'm going to cry if I don't. What is it about that song? It's ultimately romantic. It reminds me of my childhood. When you find your true love. It reminds me of sitting watching movies with my mum. Yeah. It's sort of part of my DNA, I think. Just as Never Gonna Give You Up is, but in a very, very different way, you know? Right. Yes, he sang his signature song too, but with some swing. After his big night, I could do with a pint right now, to be honest. <laughs> we went to the McKellar Brew Pub, which he co owns, and where they brew their own beer. I'm going to have a pint of 13 as well, please. Thank you. Oh my God, look at that. Belgian winter ale, it's 10% for God's sake. <laughs> Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And Rick led us all singing his own favorite Christmas carol. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be white. You've got a nice baritone, do you know that? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Boom. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? God bless us, God bless us everyone. everyone. <laughs> that was so good, Anthony. That was a pretty tough assignment, I gotta say. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I was amazed at how many people were successful at the top of their game and say they still worry about imposter syndrome. Sure. How did I get here? Yeah. With all that he's accomplished. Yeah. And it, well, it's always tough, you know, when you're gonna sing those songs and they're classics and they've been sung by a lot of the greats. You know, you want to be able to hold your own. And he did. You know, I hope some smart American promoter sees this and brings him over to do it because oh, it was yeah. such a fun yes. show. We had a great time and he had a great time. Anthony, I swear, nobody does music pieces the way you do. Nobody. I mean that. And of all the years that I've seen you on this show doing music pieces, I have never seen you sing. Well, you'll notice I'm way in the back. <laughs> and it took you a minute before you said, it was like, am I, okay, I'm going in. That's right. I'm way in the back, and, I, and, and my son accused me of lip syncing, and I said, no, wait, oh. wait, wait, to, wait to see what Rick says. Rick said you have uh, a good baritone. I have nothing else I can say. I sang back up for Rick Astor. Yes, oh, indeed. Did you enjoy it? Did I you had like a it? wonderful time. Yeah. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, that everybody. That was beautiful again. Anthony Mason. Anthony Loved Mason. It. Thank you.